Hey y'all. Thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you taking time out of y'all's business schedule. Stop in and see what it is I'm up to. It is Thursday, July 1st, 2021. Starting out another month. Uh, currently in Jacksonville, Florida, it is 76 degrees Fahrenheit and raining. Humidity is at 95%. 25 degrees Celsius. I can look at the sky. It's the clouds are broken. It's kind of sunny off to the uh, south and east of me. Pretty well cloudy in the direction I'm going to be heading over to the daughter's house. So, uh, can't remember. I know I've answered this question a couple of times, but I don't think either of those videos actually made it through. So, this little coffee tumbler, a little insulated mug to keep my coffee temperate. I don't drink hot coffee. Uh, because I take off too early in the morning now. Like I'm not even, not even brushing my hair, taking a shower or anything. Uh, taking a shower, brushing my hair. I make a cup of coffee, pour most of it into that travel mug. There's about four or five good swallows left that I put down before I leave the house. Uh, and then I get on the road to the daughter's house. I drink the coffee on the way. Um, something I learned a long, long time ago, uh, back when I was driving emergency the ambulance and whatever. Um, Hot coffee burns. <laughs> uh, yeah, so you know you stop on you stop on a break or whatever. You know you you work and you're in, in your your second shift. It's you know two o'clock in the morning or or whatever. Um, maybe it's your second shift and it's ten o'clock in the morning. But you stop and get coffee and you put it in the in the console, we had Ford vans back then, a lot like Sherry. And you go to take off, and for some reason it it, it falls and hits you on the leg. You know, you get you're driving driving along, and you're trying to drink trying to drink your coffee. That call comes in, and you go to set it down, and you spill it. So. Uh, when I would make coffee, I would go ahead and just add ice and cool it down to a moderate temperature. I don't mind drinking cold coffee. A lot of people don't like that at all. Um, so like when the whole phase of drinking iced coffee started out, I was like, I've been doing that for a while. <laughs> so, anyway, yeah, this is, this is moderate. Not hot, hot. I put a put an ice cube in it. That gets me <coughs> gets me my caffeine take in the morning. So uh, question from yesterday, also from Tony over there in Adelaide, Australia, South Australia. Uh, not many people realize that Australia isn't just one big country. There's several countries on that island, kind of like there are several countries on the island of Great Britain. Um, anyway, uh, where was I yesterday when I did my video? 
I was at my daughter's house. I was sitting in the living room. I've done a few videos over there. Uh, a couple in the, off the dining room table. Yesterday I was sitting on the sitting on the couch. Had my camera on the table in front of me. So yeah, that's where I was there. The other question is a little bit harder to answer. She asked what I would do with five hundred thousand dollars, half a million dollars. At first you think, man, that's a lot of money. But then it's really not. I mean I've had I've had a couple of settlements with uh, over two hundred thousand dollars. And it doesn't last. It really doesn't. By the time you catch up on some bills that don't get paid uh, through your settlement and whatever, you don't, it, it doesn't last long. You know, people think, oh, you made, you know, you got a quarter of a million dollars for that accident at the racetrack. Yeah, but it didn't do much. Um, by the time we were done, and remember, I was, I wasn't working, I was out of work for almost two years. Um, that money goes quick. So $500,000, it sounds like a lot right off the bat, but when you get right down to it, it's not. Uh, but what would I do with it? I gave a little bit of thought to this last night. I would take the first $100,000 and spend it. Uh, there's a few things I would probably get with that. The rest of it, I would invest. Um, Bitcoin, Dogecoin, uh, put some stuff into the stock market. Um, kind of, you know, that, that type of, that type of stuff. Um, Maybe, excuse me, maybe combine some of the, like put some of the last into, into property. Outside, like, right now Jacksonville is, is expensive, but there's some areas outlying that I can get a couple of decent acres for $100,000. So there's that, and then for the hundred thousand that I would be spending. Um, see here again when you get when you get right down to it, it's like uh, you know I say buy a decent vehicle, but that's going to cost seventy or eighty thousand dollars right off the bat, depending on what you want to get, you know. Um, a new Ford pickup or a new Chevy pickup. One of the big uh, Amazon style vans, which I think are ugly as sin, but people are buying them up and converting them into campers. There's also a lot of problems with them. I think I would rather buy, buy something like Chevy only maybe a longer wheelbase and do a nice conversion inside keep some money aside to uh, actually travel and get out and explore the world at least explore most of the some of the a lot of the country uh, I could most likely buy a van like I'm talking about for around five thousand dollars or so. Uh, spend another 
20,000 maybe refurbishing it with a new motor, transmission, suspension, all that good stuff. And then whatever I want to convert inside, which I'm kind of kind of minimalist on that. I don't want to have a uh, a full-blown kitchen and whatever inside the van. A nice sit-down toilet would be nice. I'm not worried about a shower. You shower outside or uh, when you're when you're traveling like that, you're not you're not worried about showering and washing your hair every day, twice a week maybe at the most. Between that, between them, you you know, use a spray bottle and spray down the the necessaries. And once or twice a week, you either hit a truck stop and you know pay twelve dollars for a a shower with everything provided, or you get a you rent a camp a campsite and use their facilities, uh, shower, laundry, etc., etc. So I think that would be that would probably be most of most of it uh, put most of it away. It, maybe short-term investment type thing. Um, I know Tony suggested I would be buying stuff for the for the grands or even the kids, but the grandkids are spoiled. <laughs> they really are. I mean, when you think, when you come right down to it, think about it. Um, you know, for Christmas, the little guys got either four wheelers, uh, gas powered four wheelers, or a, a small dirt bike, which are all broken down now. But you know, the other day, mom and dad went out and, was, and bought, uh, I don't know, they're like 24 inch TVs, I guess, something like that, and their game consoles to go under their under their beds to make their own space. You know, the kids aren't, none of the kids are hurting for anything. Um, when I go to the, go to the youngest daughters, I take stuff like the, the, the grandkids going to like, uh, that mom will buy for it. Like, a six pack of, uh, Hires Root Beer. Or, that, that kid's, uh, I buy the little packages of white rice because he will sit and eat just that white rice, just plain as a, as a stack. So um, I usually buy him a couple of those or the small cans of French cut green beans. Something else will just sit down and eat a can of green beans. <laughs> um, so. And I do buy the occasional, you know, the occasional. I'll, I'll buy a, I'll buy a book or a game that I think is going to interest him, or you know, a, a science project. But I do the same thing with the girls. I buy, you know, something that they're going to eat, whether it be pickled okra or boiled peanuts in a can. Um, occasionally, I buy. I'll buy something else little to put on their wall or something like that. But again, you know, they've got pretty much everything that they need and not a whole lot of space for anything else. So maybe take them take them out to eat a little bit more or you know, do some pick them up and take them to a Take them somewhere, take them to a movie or whatever. Things that I rarely do now. Although I do take, I have, I have picked up the, the one grand brat, one that's you know he's, he's an only child. We have gone out to dinner a couple times. It's been a while, but we have done it. <coughs> so yeah, I think that's. 
think it, at this point that's what I would try I would try to do and I say that because it is again we're right back to it is so easy to blow through money that you don't even realize um, that you spend it all till it's gone you know you're, you'll be like ah not a problem I've got you know I've got a hundred thousand dollars in my bank account yeah I'll rent this boat for the weekend and you know it's eight thousand dollars or something or you know I'm gonna go ahead and buy this canoe that I'll only use two or three times a season and you know a thousand dollars is gone oh that's a nice looking car I'd like to have that put in bags and shirt shoes you know whatever and before you before you know it your bank account is you know drawn on empty I've been there done that I am not good at managing my own money so I would like to think that at the offset or at the outset I would take that money divide it up and give it to the girls to yeah, dole it out to me as as needed, like as I ask for it. But then, uh, <coughs> keep me on keep me on an adult style of oh, that bump. Make me act as an adult because they've done it. I mean, they do it all the time. It's like I need, I need to take some money out of my account, babe. Uh, what for, Dad? Well, there's this motorcycle. No. What do you mean? No, it's my money. No. <laughs> but I really like to have this motorcycle. Look at this. No, I don't care. Save your money. I thought I did. It's in that account. No. That's a, you know, I'm gonna control that. Ugh. How about this boat over here? Look at this. This is really nice. No. Why not? Just because. I'm not gonna have I'm not gonna have them calling me that they found a boat when they can't find you. Like no. <laughs> uh, anyway. It's good. It really is. That way when like you know I needed tires on the brat buggy, I had it. Uh, I think there's a, enough money in my account if I wanted to or needed to head up north to see my brother for a week. I've got to go. So, anyway, we're at about the end of my run. It looks like I've actually got the recording done today. Hopefully, I'll get it uploaded. And uh, yeah, so let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs down or a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Wherever it is, y'all leave comments on your excuse me, internet access device of choice. If you'd like to share me right here social media, that'd be fantastic. If your loved ones are nearby, give them a kiss and a hug. If they're not, give them a call. Hit them up on Facebook. Let them think about them. Let them love them. We ain't promised tomorrow, people. We ain't promised our next press. Until I see y'all again, I hope you have a fantastic day. Slaunchy, y'all.